Welcome to my guide to playing harmonics on the bass. Now I wanted to do a video that was a complete guide to playing harmonics, um, including some of my techniques that I use. If you've seen my videos before, you probably know that I like to use harmonics a lot in my bass arrangements. Um, but uh, just the video was too long. So what I've decided to do is to split it into two parts. So this first part is gonna be about natural harmonics and then the second part will be about the more advanced artificial harmonics. So stay tuned for that artificial harmonics video if you're interested in that. But even if you already play natural harmonics on the bass and you know how to do that, stay tuned because I might have some surprises for you. I'm gonna talk about some of the theory behind it which is really important to understand, especially if you wanna go on and do some of the more advanced artificial harmonics. And I'm gonna show you kind of how to use um, these natural harmonics to create some chord voicings which are going to really help you to, to come up with some interesting arrangements. So anyway, uh, starting with the absolute basics, I'm sure most of you understand kind of how to create a harmonic. You just touch the string very very lightly at certain points along the neck and you pluck the string and you get these harmonics. So the, the first harmonic that everybody learns how to play is on the 12th fret. Now there is a reason for playing a harmonic on the 12th fret, which a lot of people don't understand. So this is the first really important thing that you need to understand if you don't already. And the reason you get a harmonic at the 12th fret is because the 12th fret is the exact halfway point of the string. So if you take the distance from the nut at this end to the bridge at this end, and you find the exact halfway point, it's the 12th fret, and you'll find a harmonic there. And you'll find that on any string. It doesn't matter what note you tune your strings to. It doesn't matter what instrument. You can find these same harmonics on guitars and violins and double basses. It doesn't matter. There's always a harmonic at that 12th fret. And the harmonic that you get at the 12th fret is always gonna be exactly one octave higher than the open string. So for example, if I'm playing, this is, a, this is the note G here on my first string. If I'm playing that string there, then the, the harmonic at the 12th fret is also going to be a G. And you can even take that a step further. So if you if you then divide that point into two, so if you take the distance from the nut to the 12th fret and you find the exact halfway point, you'll find there's another octave. So it's another G that's an octave above that. So you've got the open G, a G an octave above that at the 12th fret at the halfway point, and then at the quarter point on the fifth fret, you get another G that's an octave above that. And you actually find that same one at this end as well. So there's two different quarter points on the string and they both give you the same harmonic. And that, those notes are all G, just in different octaves. Now, if you're gonna really understand harmonics, you need to understand something called the harmonic series or the overtone series, which is just a sequence of notes that you get when you play these harmonics. Now, it's actually an infinite sequence. It goes on forever and ever and ever. You get all of these different harmonics, these little tiny ones up here, but I'm not too concerned about those. What I'm gonna teach you is just the first few notes of the harmonic series. Now, these are really important to understand if you're gonna use harmonics in an original way. So, here's the harmonic series. So here's the beginning of it. So I started on the 12th fret harmonic, which gives you a note which is one octave above the open string. Now if you go to the 7th fret, it gives you a note which is a fifth above that. So this was G, a fifth above G is D. And then on the 5th fret, you get the octave, the, the note that's two octaves above the open string. So it's like octave, fifth, and then another octave on top of that. Okay, that's the beginning of the harmonic series. So that's 12th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret. Now this same sequence of, of notes is going to happen on any string that you play this on. Again, it doesn't matter what note you tune it to, it's always gonna occur like that. So let's go one note further, and I'm gonna find a harmonic that's on the fourth fret. You can also find you can also find that same harmonic on the ninth fret if you wanna do that. So same note, fourth fret, ninth fret, whichever. Anyway, that note is a note that's a third above. So you've got octave, fifth, octave, and then a major third. So that, on, in the case of B, that's a, I'm sorry, in the case of a G, the G string, that's gonna be the note B, because the B is the major third above G. So it's almost like you're playing, in fact, it's not almost like, it's exactly like you're playing a G major arpeggio, basically. So you've got root, fifth, root, third. So it's like you're doing this. You're doing it one octave up by playing harmonics. Now that's, that's the beginning of the harmonic series and that pattern will repeat itself on every string. So on the D string, it's like you're playing a D major arpeggio. And on 
the A string and A major arpeggio. And same on the E string. Okay, so it's also important to understand that we talked about the halfway point of the string. This 12th fret is the exact halfway point of the string. Now, all of the, the harmonics that you get in this half of the string, they're going to be exactly the same in that half of the string because there's nothing essentially different between this half of the string to that half of the string. So these same sequences that you can play like this, you can also play them in the other direction like this. Okay, and that works on all of the strings again. Okay, so you've got all these harmonics, the same harmonics up here in this region of the bass that you have down there. Now it's really important to understand all of this if you're going to go on and use harmonics in a musical way. So how do I use natural harmonics in a musical way? Well, what I do is I like to combine these harmonics with just normal bass notes, just the normal bass notes that we usually play, and I can create chord voicings using the combination of harmonics, natural harmonics and bass notes. So for example, here, here's, here's one that I like to use. If I use the if I play the harmonic on the 5th fret of the 1st string, that gives me the note G. And on the 5th fret of the 2nd string, that gives me the note D. Now if I combine those two together, now I can add an E flat to that, and that will give me an E flat major 7 chord. It will sound like this. Okay. Alternatively, I could add the, the root note E to that, and it would give me an E minor 7 chord. That would be an E minor 7 chord. Okay, so you can, as long as you understand what the notes are that you're playing, you can find all of these different chord voicings just by taking different combinations of harmonics and then adding different root notes to them. And that's the way that I like to use natural harmonics in my bass lines. Thank you. 